Hello, I'm sitting here with Johnny Markowski from the New Riders of the Purple Sage, drummer extraordinaire, I might add. Thank you. You're welcome. He drums and he sings. You're really a fabulous drummer, and I, I welcome you here to Thank Don you. Odell Studios. You're welcome. Um, tell me about your drumming, because I'm so fascinated. Have you always been a drummer? No, actually, uh, when I was a little kid, I was a drummer. When I was probably eight years old, and I played drums in a band when I was like... 10 or 11 and 12 and uh, the guitar players would leave their guitars at my house mm -hmm. and uh, I started playing guitar and writing music that's how I met Buddy Cage I was in a band called Stir Fried oh. and uh, back in 1991 I was playing a festival and Buddy Cage was like the uh, the talent that would sit in with all the bands mm -hmm. and uh, we asked him to play with us and he sat in with my band Stir Fried and uh, I've been playing music with Buddy for 23 years that, since then. That's a long time. And I was a guitar player in that band. You know, I had a feeling you were a guitar player. And a singer, the yeah. The way you sang, I really thought so. Huh. How, yeah, how, how great. And this is from New Jersey? Yeah, so what ended up happening was I started, the Stir Fry took a break, um, and I was going to make a record with Buddy, and we were going to do an acoustic album because we didn't know... Um, we didn't want it to sound like the band, mm -hmm. and I had written all the songs in Stir Fried and did my dad's music. That was like an avenue to play my dad's music. Um, so uh, we were talking about doing a record, an acoustic record, and I had started playing drums again. I, at that point, I had played with uh, JGB with Melvin Seals for a little while, mm -hmm. and Ronnie was in that band. Oh, very cool. And uh, Kind of when Stir Fried broke, but broke up, I started playing drums again at blues sesh, jams, open jams, and I really enjoyed it. But Buddy and I talked about making a record, and uh, I was like, who are we going to get on guitar? And he said, you ought to get David Nelson. And uh, we were golfing, and I said, if uh, <laughs> you're going to play with David Nelson, you ought to put the new writers back together. And uh, Buddy said, nobody wants to hear that. That was like in 2005, the summer. Okay. And uh, he said, nobody wants to listen to that. I said, I would buy a ticket myself and go and watch you play with the New Riders. Mm -hmm. And about four holes later, he said, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to play drums or guitar in the New Riders? And I said, what are you talking about? He's like, we're going to call David Nelson and, and tell him about maybe putting the New Riders back together. And that's mm -hmm. how we're here, I guess. This is great. So you were really instrumental. For like I was the this, spark plug. You were the spark plug. And you are the spark plug. I that's great. ignited it. This is great. Well, good. Yeah. This is this is great. What a great feeling. And tonight was magical for me because I'd never seen you guys live. You know, I'd seen you on YouTube and I'd seen you listen to records for years. I had, you know, Gypsy Cowboy and I've been saving, collecting things for ages. Kind of grew up with all of you guys. And it was really um, magical. It was the whole experience. I, I love playing with these guys. Um, yeah. When we first got in the band, you know, when we... We had our first uh, rehearsal before mm -hmm. this five-day tour that we wanted to see how people would accept it. When we started rehearsing, we noticed that there was a chemistry there, but there was a lot of mistakes, like where the, a chorus would come in or mm -hmm. a bridge, you know, we all are the ending of songs. But we, we felt the energy of the, the groove and the, the gel that we had. It's, it's amazing. And that was yeah. uh, really special to us. And we knew we had something special. You could put people together like, oh, this is the greatest drummer and the greatest guitar player and the greatest bass player, and we're going to throw this together, and it's going to be the greatest. And it doesn't happen like that. You right. know, you, that, to, that's like a gift. When mm -hmm. you feel that energy and it has a gel like that, it's a good thing. You want to keep doing it. I agree. And, you know, your egos are all, it was very balanced. I, you know, I agree. Some people are good at this and that, but you put it together, it's like dating, and the energy isn't always there because it looks good on paper. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Yeah. It's yeah. fabulous. Tell me some of your favorite drummers. Um, I'm a big fan of Billy Kreutzmann. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Keith Moon. I love John Bonham. Mm -hmm. um, Levon Helm is oh, one of my all-time, you know, my Great hero, yeah. he's a singing drummer. Um, you know, uh, listen to old Gene Krupa stuff. Yes. And uh, Buddy Rich stuff. Just to, like when I started playing drums again, I wanted to get to the roots of drumming again and, and really, because I, I always consider myself a new drummer. I've only been playing for 14 years seriously now. Mm -hmm. And most of it's been professional. It's kind of weird. You work your whole life as a musician. 
I'm going to be a singer songwriter. You have a band, you play, you go out, and yeah. you get kind of semi. Uh, famous, and then you play drums, and three months later, you're in the Melvin Seals JGB. <laughs> you know, and then next thing you know, you're in the New Riders, and you're like, oh my God, you know, how did that happen? Right, the New Riders of Purple Sage. Yeah. I mean, I should have stuck with the drums when I was twelve. I should have never started. Yeah. So. But maybe you wouldn't be here now. Yeah, no, exactly. It all leads else. to this place. I, that's how I met Buddy. Yeah. You know, and we still God. play with Buddy with Stir Fried. You know, so. It's great. It's great. Favorite places to play? Hmm. States or cities? I love playing out in, out west. Um, I love playing in New York hometown gigs. Um, well, you're going to the cutting room. I'm sure cutting you'll have room. Never hometown. played the cutting room before. Kind of a newish yeah. thing. I know um, Alexis Souter just played there yeah. and loved it's it with a group everybody of people. I, everybody I've mentioned it to that's been there has told me it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, I like playing at BB King's. Um, favorite place? There's. Let me think back here. Uh, I love the Mystic Theater in Petaluma. Oh. I love the Great American Music Hall in mm -hmm. uh, in San Francisco. Nice. I guess those are kind those of my are some and of your I love favorite. outdoor venues. Anything outdoor, festival style, because mm -hmm. music free. feels it's great fun. out outdoors. You've you know? done Red Rocks. I've never played Red Rocks. That would be a fun venue. That'd I stood on the fun. stage and sang a cappella at Red Rocks, but it was empty and no one was there, but I did it. <laughs> Shh, doesn't count. No, no, it counts. It counts. That's great. That's great. So um, tell me about um, favorite parts of these CDs. You know, any songs that you know that your solo, your backing was particularly inspiring to you? I uh, love um, here this disc. I'm really a big fan of. Um, down the Middle is one of my favorites ones on here. Another song called Blues Barrel on yes, here is like a great that. song. I really love Ghost Train Blues. Oh, I like that a lot too. I love Carl Perkins. Where's the? I, I like this whole disc. The Carl Perkins tune is very cool. Yeah, and it's Ronnie's cool song, thing. Olivia Rose, is a great song. Um, where I, Every song on this record, I honestly, it's like when I put this on, um, I, there's not a song I don't want to listen to or push, you know, all that, you know. I don't push the forward button on this disc, and and the same same with that disc. We got together in uh, at a place uh, which is one of my favorite places to uh, play is the Turkey Trot. We mm -hmm. play there every year. It's Pete and Sherry run this place, and uh, we love that place so much. In the winter, we went there in February, and spent a week there in their living room and put all the music for that record together. How wonderful! And it was How a great, totally wonderful. great, great time. We lived together and learn songs together. Like David came with the songs and the lyrics, you know, and the music that he had written with uh, Robert Hunter. And uh, right. we got to, you know, sit down and try different ways of playing the songs. And and uh, so that was a lot of fun. And I, I write all the set lists for the band oh, before that's we great. play every night. That's great. And I have to tell you, there's not a night where um, I look down at the set and say, and I've been in a lot of bands where you look down and you see a song, you're like, oh, let's just get this one over with, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't have that with any song in this band. Good. You know, Good. I really don't. It's like every song that I look down and go, okay, yeah, I'm ready for that one. Was it hard tonight because it was a, sh a condensed version? You know, well, I, I kind of think it's great. Sometimes you come out and do a show and your first set is really, you're kind of getting it together. Mm -hmm. And then the second set, you know, you for some reason you always come out and you have like an explosive second set. <laughs> yeah. But um, it, you know, knowing the energy of being filmed and everything was kind of exciting. So I think that kind of adds to the performance. It's like, sort of like it's a different kind of adrenaline. I agree. You get an adrenaline from a crowd that's right on top of you, mm -hmm. and then you get an adrenaline with a camera right on top of you. So you know. Right, right, right. So, so that's it kind of works good. both it, ways. It worked very well. And I mean, I could have gone for another two hours, I of course. I definitely could have done that. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So, and everyone was like very happy. I feel I like we just did sound check. And when's the, what time does the gig start? Right. Well, luckily, right. Luckily, you're on this, this short, magnificent, intense tour. And you're, you, you know, you just did the Iron Horse and you're doing Connecticut. Right. And, um, you know, certainly Buddy's hometown. I'm sure a lot of folks will be there. And then the New Year's Eve, you know. Yeah. It's going to be really very special. And I love to touring with these guys. I have to tell you, we're, we um, we eat together, mm -hmm. you know, before a show. We're always together. And uh, you don't really see that with bands that have been on the road for 10 years. I agree. You know, you always have one guy who's over here, another guy's over there. But I, I think we really like each other, you I know? Think you I think like I each feel other. It. it shows, I think it's harmonious. I think um, 
the music itself lends to that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. It's not like, yeah, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And um, I felt very present tense tonight. I felt very present. Yep. And I felt that from all of us in the whole room. Yeah, Buddy and David from the beginning um, wanted us to uh, feel like band members. Like, we don't, nobody makes any more money or any less money than anybody. Um, they keep it equal. Um, That's great. And they really let you express yourself musically. It's like you get to in, uh, you get to introduce songs that you have written yourself, and it really makes you feel like a band member, you know. And this is the longest incarnation of uh, the New Riders. Yeah. I mean, I've held the drum seat longer than any drummer. Ronnie's held the bass yeah. playing position longer than any. Uh, Michael's been in the band, rhythm guitar player, pretty much, you know. So the incarnation of this this nucleus of what it's we unit, got here at yeah. unit is uh, been together the longest well it's great it's, it's great and it's going places yeah it's as i really meant it you know i've said this to the other guys too it is as relevant as it was when it first started even more so i think everyone's really aware and i think everybody's healthy and it, it's just fabulous yeah it, it feels good every yeah, night it feels good question what uh, weight sticks do you have what do you kind of what do you like to use i use like five a's you know, standard 5A's, nothing. Uh, right now I'm using um, uh, the Steve Gadd oh. stick. Um, okay. I have my own sticks made by their uh, American Classics. Oh, very cool. Made by uh, um, Vic Firth. And uh, I ran out of those. And I, the ones that are closest to my sticks that I picked are the Steve Gadd. And actually, you know what? I never played okay. with plastic tips. And <laughs> I find myself that I really like them. It gives... Uh, I'm getting a little more ping out of my cymbals. Very cool. So well, I, I really have to. I loved your playing. I know. Just I'm just like a natural drummer wannabe kind of person. I so mean, am I, I. Yeah. No. <laughs> but I just was very very into it. Um, we're gonna take. We're gonna stop because you guys want to get going. Right on. You know. Um, I have loved seeing you, and I can't wait to see the new Riders of the Purple Sage again. And I'm gonna come and sit down and interview you guys again at some point. Awesome. I hope somebody has has filming, doing a film or of of the band. I think that would be a wonderful project for somebody because I think there's so much here, and you know, it's it's, you know, proven. You know. There's a lot of history and a lot of great a stories. Lot of history. You know, we have history in our 10 years. This band's name's been out for 45, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of history. It's a big tree. It's a big tree. Yeah. Um, a wonderful, loving, functional family. Is there anything that's not on the website or not on any bios that we need? We could know about you guys or about you? Um, <laughs> kudos to Joey and Captain Toast. They're not, they're behind the scenes people, and Robbie too now, but real kudos to Captain Toast and Joey our road manager and our tech. They are always work so hard and they're behind the scenes and nobody really gets to see them. And uh, kudos to those guys. Fabulous. That's what's hidden that nobody really gets to see. That's Thank a gem. You. Perfect. Thank you, Johnny. I, I wish you Thank all you, the Ollie. best. And I hope to see you soon. Happy 2000, 2016. Happy Healthy New Year. Tom. Yeah, you too. I'm Holly Harris here at Don Odell's Legends, having spoken with every member of the new Riders of the Purple Sage. I love these guys. Go check them out. This latest release, 17 Pine Avenue, and this one, well, Where I Come From, fabulous. And they have a new one coming out at some point next year. I'm Holly Harris. Good night.